our story begins with this man. Gotetsu was a master of the arts of Ansatsuken, or Assassination Fist, and also the winner of the world's most ripped old man. The art of Ansatsuken was a deadly fighting style originally developed in feudal Japan with the prime focus on killing an opponent with powerful techniques such as the Hadouken, the Shoryuken, and finally the Duck Duck Duken. What's that? Oh. Oh, okay then. The Tatsumaki Senpu Kyak, a sideways moving hurricane kick. He would later establish a dojo in the mountains where he would teach these skills to two brothers, Goken and Goki. As time went on, the two brothers would fight over the true nature of their fighting style and the true means of mastering it. And so, they began focus on vastly different aspects of the Adensatsuken. Goken wanted to steer clear of its violent nature and focus on the more peaceful aspects of the art. Hey man, can I talk to you? Sure you can! It's about the Ansatsuken. What about it? Why must it always be about killing your opponent? What do you mean? I mean, it was created during a time of war and chaos. Yeah, and I get that. But I think now it can be used for peace and spiritual meditation. Goken? Yes, Sensei? It's really cool that you think that way and all. Great, but it is in the name. What? It's in the name. You know, Ansatz. As in, assassination? You tell me what is peaceful and spiritual about assassinations. Yeah, but if you don't like it, you can't get out. Well, in that case, I'm going to build my own dojo with nap snack and rice cooker. And so he left. Goki, on the other hand, focused on the darker aspects of the art, also known as the principle of Satsui no Hado. He stayed behind to learn more about this principle, tapping into it and slowly losing himself in the process. Feeling himself getting stronger and stronger, and thinking he can go even further, Goki left the dojo to train alone in an island. There, he spent every waking moment diving ever more deeply into the Satsui no Hado. Goki would fully embrace the dark side of the Satsui no Hado, giving up all compassions towards other human beings, and develop a lust for fighting to the death. Goki would later return to the dojo and challenge Gotetsu to a death match. The battle between Sensei and Student was intense, but Goki ultimately came out on top after having mastered the ultimate Satsui no Hado technique. The Son Goku Sats was a series of devastating blows targeting the vital weak spots and utterly destroying the human body. With Gotetsu's death, Goki declared himself as the true master of Ansatsuken and took his former sensei's beads for himself. At that moment, Goken arrived. Hey guys, the weirdest thing just happened. I was coming up these stairs and suddenly the whole place just went black for a moment. I mean just pitch black. Did you guys see that? Without saying a word, Goki vanished into the night. After mourning his sensei's death, Goken became ever more determined to rid the Ansatsuken of all its murderous mm -hmm. nature. He spent the next few years travelling the world where he would encounter a leukemic old man by the name of Gen, who would inspire the development of the Munoken, or the power of nothingness. It also served as the foundation of the Ansatsuken art and completely purged it of its reliance on the Satsui no Hado. With it, Goken would okay. also change all the deadly techniques into a tool solely for defensive purposes. Hadouken! With his newfound techniques, he founded his own dojo and accepted his first ever pupils, a duo more iconic than any other, Ryu and Ken. Just kidding, it was this guy. Usha! 